Yeah, baby. Oh, uh, get in there. Holy crap. Loot that son of a gun. Loot that son of a gun. Yeah. Okay, for the record, I do not recommend this. Uh, as I do not have a weapon. But I beat the crap out of so many guards. Is there a reason I can't use your services, sir? There we go. Press Y to shop. Hello, everyone. And welcome back to more Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed 2. Holy balls. I got that codex page. It was a little difficult because I do not have a sword. Um, last episode was a big episode, first off. Uh, first and foremost, last episode was a big deal because last episode we became an assassin. Um, we, we learned a few techniques. We learned the blend technique. And oh, yeah, my dad and my brothers were, <laughs> were killed. So that's kind of a big deal. Uh, today, uh, you will notice that first and foremost, I took care of doing all of the, uh, the viewpoints. There were five of them. So they are completely taken care of. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing this kind of stuff between episodes. I've also had a chance to read, uh, the comments of the past few videos and, uh, take in some of the stuff that you guys have said. And, uh, you gave me some actual, uh, very useful advice that was not, um, immediately aware to me. For, uh, one of the biggest things that I thought was really, really helpful was the fact that throughout the, the city there are birds perched on the ledges of buildings and though that's like a signal that you can jump safely from there and you'll land in, you know, a bale of hay or whatever. So like, oh god! I'm trying to find one that I can actually see right now. Let me just drop. Let me just drop, because this is a big building. Hey there. Oh, you're not a courtesan. Why are you? You are! Hello! Goodbye! I actually employed the use of courtesans just to try it out. They're $150, and uh, they'll follow you around, which is pretty cool. I actually stole a pissload of money from people as well uh, between episodes. Not a ton, but a pretty good amount. Just I was walking around, I would walk through big groups and just, well, steal. It was surprisingly simple. I'm on my way now to the, uh, the mission that I need to be at. Oh! I, 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 where are the... Okay, so here's an example. It's like these birds, which are taking, I assume, gigantic craps. Is that what that's supposed to be? I think it's just supposed to be like the birds took giant craps. But those signify where you can jump off. And I didn't really pick up on that. So that was uh, extremely helpful. Uh, but we do not have any weapons because we lost them whenever we ran away from, uh, from the fight... So I'm assuming that very soon we'll get weapons back. I actually did check the blacksmith, and we can't buy any weapons. We can buy armor. He sells uh, he sells some armor, raises your health and resistance or something like that, and um, it's twenty three hundred dollars. So it's it would take up a good a good chunk of our change, and I'm not really ready to get rid of that. So uh, for now, I'm going to continue on with the missions, and hopefully I'll get my sword and my blade and stuff back. Because I, I didn't have the the blade very long to um to play with, or the the sword rather. Okay, uh, the eye icon on database pop-ups indicates the glyph is on the landmark. Try to find it. Okay, so there's a glyph somewhere on somewhere here. All right. Oh God. And now I need another freaking doctor. What? Maybe she'll refill our health. That would be nice. Hello, ma'am. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. Heck yeah! What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Ah. Ace up my sleeve. Visit Leonardo da Vinci at his workshop to see if he can repair Giovanni's blade. Okay. Anything that gets me stabbing people faster is A-OK -okay with me. And yes, it did restore my health. So I, it appears that I only need to really pay for a doctor 
if I'm between missions, like if I'm between missions and I'm like legitimately worried that I could possibly die, then I should do it. But otherwise, I should be good. And uh, I'm going to get the rest of the codex pages, but it's going to be a lot easier when I have something to attack with. And I, I don't even have my sword. I thought he was just repairing the blade, but maybe he's repairing, uh, repairing a few things. Because uh, I thought I was going to have the sword at least, but nope! Not sword. Alright, uh, everything should go pretty smoothly, so I'll just speed this up as we go see Leonardo. Here we are. That wasn't too bad. Uh, interact with door. Can I come in? And will you repair my stuff? Oh, Ezio Auditore! I, I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened... Ah! Where are my manners? Welcome back! Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course! Come, this way! Che pasticcio! Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted, but if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Remarkable. If we transpose the letters, and then select every third... What? There! It's finished! Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. What? Bene. Do it quickly. Oh my god. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Good. So that codex page was really important. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Kill them. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. Oh, snap. So, it's a good thing I got that codex page, because without it, the cutscene would have been like, if only you had instructions. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Uh, preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? Oh, that ain't cool. What about now? Uh, no, no. Uh, Tell me what I want to know and we can end this. Son. Uh, ready to talk? It's on. Like, hold on. Would I do it? Desynchronization detect. Wait, hold on. What happened? Hold on. What? How was I? Okay, now I'm. De oh. <laughs> Gotcha! It was not immediately clear how to kill the guy using the the dagger. Oops. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Uh, sure to do. I'm gonna loot it first. Hope that's alright. Yeah! Whatever it gave me. And coming. Okay, so now I can stab people. Fantastic. It is my greatest joy to stab people. And stab people I will. There will be lots of stabbing. Alright, so you just like one of the over here. Is that... 
Is that cool, bro? Okay, just, just straight right here. See, like it never happened. Thank you, Leonardo, for everything, anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Okay, so, Codex pages have a reason to exist now. Uh, if I get the Codex pages, I can upgrade my junk. And I also have the hidden blade. So, I can just go up to people and I think just press X. Okay. Ezio did not kill civilians. Oh, well, he just did, actually. So, I'm going to try not to do that in the future. But I totally just did. <laughs> My bad. Let me go try this on a guard. This should be a guard. Oh, he's he's not in the good zone. <sighs> Don't go on the area. Not yet. Okay, this is, though. Okay, there's some guys down there that I could kill. Just got to get close to them. Nope, 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 nope. Go down. Go down. Come on. I gotta get some practice in. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, snap, son! Huh, oh, you want some of this? Oh, hi, guys. What's going on? It seems like you guys want to play. Ow, Jesus! Uh. Yeah, that's right. I got a blade on my hand, son. Counter. Okay, that hurt. Counter. Anybody else? Come on. Come on, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Mmm. Gotta get this button right. There we go. You're dead. Oh, those guys are a little scared. Huh? You scared, son? You scared? Oh, so that was easy. So now I can loot these bodies. Yeah, countering with the uh, countering with the hidden blade is, is nice. You guys have actually told me that in the comments. You're like, hey! Master that. It's really useful. And it looks like it's an auto kill, which is a little insane. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. Cool. So now that we have a uh, a weapon back, we don't have the sword back, but we got the hidden blade, which is cool. We should probably head to the next place, which is over yonder. So let's head there now. There's one of the symbols. What does it mean? It must be there for a reason. Can you take a closer look? I stumbled upon one of hey, these symbols. Try using eagle vision. Okay. I've got all day. I did it. Wait, wait, that's that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. Oh shit, it's an encrypted file. What? Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. Uh I can't! It's only compatible with the Animus itself! What? I'd upload it to Desmond, then. I believe this. Okay, what I do? Hello, this is... They, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe... <laughs> It's wrong. Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all, but I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, ugh, what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh, oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the Animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. 
In the beginning, unlock the five. Okay. Five of these mythic scenes share a core similarity. Pick them out and you'll begin to see. This is just pieces of art history. A core similarity. Hercules in the Garden of the Hesperides. Birth of Venus. Some of the stuff I'm pretty familiar with because of uh, art school. I don't... So I have to pick them out. They share a core similarity. Uh, let's see. Iden in the Apples. Judgment of Paris. Fruit. I think the similarity is fruit. Uh, okay, so... This one has fruit. Uh, fruit. Look, does he have fruit? Looks like maybe fr fruit. 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 Uh, I selected that one. It must be... It must be this one. Did I do it? I think I did it. Yay! Passcode found! File unlocked. What the... This is weird, man. The truth. We did it. Neat. Huh. So, that was extra. That's not even, like, necessary for Assassin's Creed 2. Holy crap. Well, that was Wiggy. Huh. And it was all because I was on my way over here to do the next mission. Speaking of, I should probably, you know, do the next mission. Drop down here. Huh. Let's go inside. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Okay. Judge, jury, executioner. Visit the art show at Santa Croce. Find Uberto and exact revenge. Heck yeah! I can get behind me some of that revenge. Okay. He is 114, I guess, Uberto with the meters away. Alberti, trusted friend of the Auditore family. According to the history books, this guy was a saint. He prosecuted murderers, rapists, the worst criminals. One of the best lawyers in Italy, he won every case, in spite of the fact that he was self-taught. Now, I found a back door into the Templar's database server. I've been combing it for some kind of smoking gun. I found it. Apparently, Uberto's family was evicted by the Medici Bank. Uberto's been aching for revenge ever since. And the Templars promised him support. Ezio's father was standing in the way, and Uberto was jealous of his influence over the Florentine government. Two birds with one stone, isn't it? It looks like Uberto used his election to the Signoria as his opportunity to strike. Hmm. Huh, so we learned something. Cool. And now I will press back because I want to get on that map, yo. Destination? Chicago. Not not actually Chicago. Let's go. Apparently I have to start this on the roof, which I, I guess is alright. Here I am. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. 
Follow Alberto without being detected. Okay. Birdies. Woohoo! Enter a group to blend. That group would do nicely. Hello, folks. How's it going? I'm just a part of this group. We're just traveling together. Don't look at the fact that my robes are a different color. All right, let's see. Where is this slime ball? Oh, he's inside. I hope these guys are going. Are you guys going inside? Where are we going? This isn't. This isn't where I need to go. I don't think. Is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. Let me get back up in this group. You guys going to the art show? No. Ah, oh, I gotta get inside that art show. All right, let's see here. Might be able to get in from up above. Seems like a pretty smart solution. Uh, there's looks like some. Those look like guards right there. Hi, folks. I'm just here to climb ladders. Hop a dip a dip a dip, scoop a dip dip. Okay, I think I lost them. That was close though. Okay, give it a second. They're they're not even. They don't even want me. They don't even want me. Go away. Stop. God. Let me wander away for a sec so they don't want to freaking kill me. There we go. Alright, that's gone. So they should have forgotten that I exist. Alright. There was this thing. And that's how I'm getting into this art show. What better way to enter undetected than to enter from the roof? To you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourself. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore family. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. You piece of crap. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what evils he had? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I sh if you'll excuse me for a moment. You piece of crap. You piece of crap. I'm gonna end this guy's life. I'm just gonna do it. Uberto, a moment of your time. Very carefully. Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. As Gonfalonieri, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. Corruption and its ilk shall find no purchase here, so long as I am in You are a treasure. You! Me! Guards! Shut Arrest the balls him. up! Ugh. I'm glad I stabbed him more than once, because he certainly deserved it. I was hoping to sneak up on him, but the fact that he saw it come was kind of you enjoyable. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditori are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Uh, escaping is a thing you could do. Let's go! Woman! Okay, you. I swear to God, I'll stab you too! Get out of my way! All right, so we got a lot of people in the area, a lot of people that uh, want me to experience lots of various pains and injuries. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's latch onto this. Woo! This looks safe. This is something that I would not do in real life. Warning, escape the area. Yeah, what do you think I'm working on, game? Just give me some time. There's still some dudes over here. Do they see me? Do not see me. <laughs> Aye, dummy. Alright, down we go. Down we go. Down we go. Down we go. Can I get over there? Is that something I can grab? It's not something I can... Let's just go down. Let's just go down. Just drop. Boop. Well, this is awkward. Na na da 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 da. Oh, I did it! Holla, friggin' luya! Cool. Our source assassin. Our our source. Our first assassination. 
Leather acquired, conspiracy documents acquired. That is of interest to me. Can we take a look at that? Uh, let me press start, yeah. There we go. Uh, database. L I think if I go to recent, it'll give it to me? No, of course not. I need to go to documents. And documents, uh, codex pages. What do these show? Oh, okay. So that you can actually read these things, too. I'm not going to read these, but if anyone is interested in reading it, there it is. So you can read it yourself. Uh, I am mostly... I have two pages? No text data. Zoom to see image data. Oh, it's the blade. Okay. Uh, I'm mostly interested in this. From Raphael 1 to... From a... Br this. My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we owned, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money, land, and title in exchange for my collaboration. And so this is how I came to betray my closest friend. However unspeakable the act, it seemed necessary at the time. And even now, looking back, I see no other way. Hmm. Dark. All right. That wraps that up, and our first assassination is complete. Quite, I want to say quite enjoyable. Like, I love killing people, but God, that was fun. That was fun. That guy had it coming. Although, it's not always black and white. In fact, it's usually never black and white. So he had his side of the story as well. What else lies in store for Assassin's Creed 2 and Ezio Auditore? I don't know, but we'll find out next time. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, be sure to catch the next exciting episode of Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed 2. You and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! I need to get closer. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life.